What's up, everybody? It's Crown Two Hundred Eight Two Ten, back with another unboxing video. Today we're going to be doing two, not one, but two unboxing. Uh, one is on an amiibo that I purchased um, about three months ago, pre-ordered, uh, and also of a anime unboxing from RightStuff.com. So yeah, I'm very excited. I thought I was going to be doing it um, later this week, but I actually got it. Today is today Saturday, and I thought I was gonna get it on Monday, but thankfully I got both on the same day. So and yeah, I know that I haven't uh, that I got amiibos yesterday, which yesterday was Friday, and I haven't posted that video yet, but it will go up soon. Hopefully, we'll see <laughs> if if I feel like it. We'll see. I've been feeling kind of crappy the past couple of days, so. We'll see. <laughs> well, anywho, let's get this unboxing ready. I'm going to start off with the one from Toys R Us, which was the Amiibo that I pre-ordered. But, here we go. The last Amiibo was missing. Here we go. Is Greninja, the Toys R Us exclusive. Yes, he looks really awesome. Yes, he looks great. Man, these Amiibos are getting better and better in design. Like, God, man, I remember when the first one came out and they looked they didn't look very good and now they're reissuing them and they look so much better like the just the design of them just just looks so much better in a lot more detail than the first wave and a little bigger than the first wave low the wave one were just like really tiny compared to the ones we're getting now so yeah this is pretty cool um kudos to nintendo they were doing really awesome job with the amiibo designing them what they're not doing well with is making sure there's enough for everybody because either they have scalpers out there and we have um collectors and then we have people that are really cool because they like to make their own amiibo they um they buy the amiibo and then they customize them and they look really cool but the thing is not a lot of people are getting them and People are buying them over and over just to customize them, and not everyone's getting them, which really sucks for a lot of people that really want to get them just to collect one of each. Like me, I have one of each. I don't have multiples. I'm not that kind of guy that continues buying them over and over. I just like to have one of each, just one. That's all I need. And so far, I'm pretty good where I'm at. The only ones I'm missing now are Ness, obviously, Meta Knight, Peach and Donkey Kong, and uh, Villager and with a Trainer. So I'm missing six of the current that are avail that are available to buy. So yeah, six of them, and that's pretty good compared to other people that only may have four that are trying to collect them all, but they can't because either they can't pre-order, they they don't stay up late to get out um to pre-order them. And to be honest, Greninja, he went on sale for pre-order at like 3 a.m. in the morning. And I just happened to be up at that time. I wasn't even like expecting to be up. I was supposed to be asleep. And I was just like browsing on Twitter and I see all these people. I saw someone say, hey, Greninja's up on Toys R Us. And I was like, what? Go, 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 go. And I typed it up. And lo and behold, he was there. And I got him. So that's pretty cool. So I got Greninja, I got Pac-Man yesterday, and Wario yesterday, and the, um, the, uh, uh, what should I call it, the, sorry guys, I'm, I'm very sick and I'm like really hard, the Splatoon Trio, it's, yeah, sorry, it's, my brain's kind of fried from all this sickness, it really sucks, sorry my voice still doesn't sound very good, it's very, very low compared to what I normally sound like. <coughs> Sorry, uh, so that was the Amiibo from ToysRUs.com, Greninja, only available at Toys R Us. he's a Toys R Us exclusive, so you can't get it anywhere else, so if you find it at a Toys R Us, awesome, go get it, because he's kind of rare, so get it. But now, here comes the big deal, which is the RightStuff.com, woohoo, RightStuff.com box, uh, I'm thinking, I ordered three different animes I don't remember so 
I got it during a sale that they were having recently. It was uh, in stock, um, and if you put in a code, it will like give you like thirty percent off or something like that. And now they're doing a Funimation.com um, sale, and I wish I would have waited because, I mean, I would have saved like forty more cents, but it's forty cents. But anywho. I'm very excited for what I got. It's actually four. I actually ordered four things now that I remember. And so you're going to get to see them now. So here we go. Let me open it up. They do a really good job taking care of the stuff they, they send you. So, yeah. Oh, I got a postcard for Sailor Moon. Yes. I'm keeping this one. I throw them off, but, like, stuff that I really like, like Sailor Moon, I, I, that stuff I keep. And it's for Sailor Moon R. And I pre-ordered that already. So I'm excited to get that in a couple of I think it's next month, or this month, I can't remember when it comes out, but let me see. Uh, it doesn't say. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say. So, but yeah. Sailor Moon R. Yes. Um, and here's another postcard for... Uh, uh, the Rose of Versailles. So, I don't know if you ever watched that. I never watched it, so. And it's from Nozomi. Pretty cool, you can buy right stuff. And here's another Yakitamate Japan. I don't know if you guys like that either. I've never watched it either, so maybe a good show, maybe not. Who knows? Put that away. And finally, ooh, I got a nice little postcard here for to actually visit Japan. So it says visit Japan. Travel amongst friends, and yeah, it, it's looks like they have dates for incoming events that they might have. Uh, there's the Sun and Sakura event, uh, the Cherry Blossoms. Uh, that's the animated summer. Uh, they have, uh, yeah, you get to stop at Hiroshima, Hiroshima. Uh, Miyajima and Tomonura. So, pretty cool. And they also have an event for Chikaku Kyushu Showcase. And, and you go west, uh, western area of Japan. And you see places inspired by anime films like Naruto Spirit Away, Skyfall, the 007 movie, and the, the Haruhi series. So, yeah, the, there's the tour dates. If you guys want to check those out, if you ever want to go to Japan, check them out. I'm going to keep it up for a little bit so you guys can see. Yeah, I really like this postcard. Thank you, Right Stuff. You guys are the best. Alright, so let's start off with... So I got three different animes. I'm going to take, the, take them out, kind of put them in order. Then I want to show them. So first one is Freezing. Uh, I didn't didn't own the, um, this. I actually started watching it on Netflix recently, and I ordered, if you guys have been watching my videos, I recently ordered the Freezing Vibrations the Blu-ray, and since I want to watch this before I see Freezing, why not get it now, uh, so I can watch it a little later. Uh, so, yeah. So, here's Freezing. I will start watching this as soon as I finish Bebop and a couple of those shows, so, yeah. <laughs> so, here's Freezing. And finally, I got not just collection one of oh, fairy tale, not collection two of oh, fairy tale, and but collection three of oh, fairy tale. So I've actually watched the first two already on Netflix because that's the only ones that are available on Netflix. But Collection 3 is not on Netflix, and Collection 4 just came out this past week, so I will, oh, might pick that up now, now that there's a sale. Hmm, maybe I will. <laughs> so, Collection 4, it just came out last week, so I'm going to start watching this again as soon as I'm done with Bebop. I've been kind of sick, like I said, I've been sick, so I haven't really been able to watch a whole lot of stuff. I've just been in bed most of the time, relaxing, and trying to... Trying to just feel better because it really sucks to be sick. But yeah, that's Fairy Tale Collection 2, 3, 2, 
and wine. And yes, I started getting these because, to be honest, my one of my good friends from work recommended it to me. And I just said, nah, one piece is better, blah, blah, blah. And because one piece and fairy tale have very similar, similar ideas. And I always thought the one piece ideas were really good. So, but I gave fairy tale a shot and I watched it and I, I loved it. So I'm watching both one piece and fairy tale and I'm enjoying it so much. So thank you again, right stuff. You guys are the best as always. Thank you for the awesome, um, just being awesome for giving us awesome anime. And all, thank you for the awesome sale that you guys just started. Because that's going to save a lot of money from my pocket. So, thank you again, guys. Thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, unboxing video, give it a like. If you guys have any comments, make sure you let me know. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right below here. Somewhere down here. <laughs> and then, if you guys want to donate to the channel, always go uh, support uh, button in my channel as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.